What's going on all you lovely people? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Mike O'Hora and this is a lovely penguin. Welcome back. Welcome to the water, my friends. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Today, well, technically not today when I'm filming this, but the day before today, our guy Sugar, also known as August D, released a new music video. It's for his song that he sings with IU. It is a song called People Part 2. I uh, I will say this. I know of IU. I don't know much about her. I uh, I do know that, that like, I'm pretty sure it was, it was uh, JK. He had a big old crush, a lot of respect for her. So that's about as much as I know about her, to be honest. But, um... Yeah, this would be. I think. I think this. I, I. I will say there possibly could have been a time I've heard her perform, but I don't. I don't think so. I'm pretty sure this is my very first time hearing her. But uh, of course, we got our guy August D, and you know we love him. So, we. Uh, we yeah. Well, let's watch this thing, and uh, yeah, let's see what happens. Here we go. So it's a music video. So we're gonna do once uh, without subtitles, so we can hear it, see it, feel it, all that good stuff, and then we will watch it again with the subtitles so that I can actually understand what we are uh, hearing. You know what I'm saying? But, uh, yeah, before we get to that, make sure you sub to the channel because you want to keep on growing. The only way we can do that is with your help. Uh, it also costs you nothing, so why not? And, uh, yeah, with that being said, let's hit it. My hair is sticking out at the top there. Whatever. Ignore it, please. <laughs> Okay, going old school on this one. So time is young. Ooh, okay. Coming in strong. Okay. Very, first off, coming in very strong, sick beat, followed very quickly by IU coming in on, on uh, singing. And damn, she's got a fantastic voice. So that that makes a lot more sense as to why she holds such prestige in the K-pop world. But uh, who would who would have guessed? Our guy August D. Sugar rolling in with that sweet, smooth rap. Man, it's nice. It's cool. It's not like a heavy song. It's pretty light and. Um, yeah, I like it. I think it's cool. It's gonna be very cool to hear his uh, hear his album when it comes out, cause it didn't it didn't come out yet, right? I don't know. I'm like I am so far behind. I gotta do a whole bunch of album listens throughs, so uh, I'll, I'll get to it. <laughs> I, I will I will get to it. I promise. I will. I'll find some time. I will do it. I promise. I will. I will. I swear. So now with his coming out, that's four albums that I need to listen to. Yikes, dude. I need to find more time. There's not enough time in the day, guys. There's not enough time. So far away Ooh. Sugar City 2. Let's go. I mean, I know he can sing, but I wasn't expecting it. Oh, so this is such a nice house. So far away, 
I like it. Oh, he's got a Johnny Cash guitar. You see that? It says Cash on the frets. I like this song, though. This is very cool. Can't wait to see what the lyrics say. Beautiful locations. Is that his actual studio, you think? Because his, his studio's in a smaller room, I thought. Oh, that looks a little bit too nicely made. I think that's probably his set. Well,他们在传达的过程中，那些他们自己的经历，那些他们自己的经历，那些他们自己的经历，那些他们自己的经历，那些他们自己的经历，那些他们自己的经历，那些他们自己的经历，那些他们自己的经历，那些他们自己的
say there there is one thing that it bothers me ever a little bit a little a little bit it's just the chorus is worded weird and then it stops it ends with a double negative <laughs> nobody never nobody never knows oh, is that what it says what does it say nobody doesn't yeah nobody doesn't know anymore You know, like that's that's just like not the way you'd say it, I guess, you know, it would just be nobody knows anymore. But obviously that doesn't fit the song, but I don't know. It's just it's it's weird. It's weirdly worded. I mean, it's fine. You know, it's not, I, I didn't write the song. It's not a big deal, but it for whatever reason, it's throwing me off a little bit. I'm not even a, I'm not even like a big reader or like an English fan either. Like I barely speak English anyway. No. <laughs> <laughs> what am I getting so annoyed? Well, it's not annoyed. It's just it's it just feels weird. It feels weird. That's what I should say. It just feels weird. It's a little strange that it's worded like that. And I wonder if there's a reason. But honestly, it's be it's. I mean, it's it's sugar. There's probably there, there's probably a reason. I don't know. <laughs> Cinematically too, this music video is amazing. Ah. Dang, man. That, I, I will say I like the fact that he added in that extra clip at the end, mainly because it just really conceptualizes what the song is about, you know? Because in my mind, I'm thinking like, okay, he's obviously talking about loneliness. He's talking about depression um, and all that. And, and you know, it didn't feel like it's like full blown or anything like that. Just maybe just depressed feelings, you know? So hearing that, it's like, yeah, this was like what happened during COVID-19 and 
uh, during the pandemic where he thought like, you know, concerts might not be a thing ever again, you know, and it's like he's he's losing what he loves. So it 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 brings a lot of context to the song that I wasn't I didn't fully grasp until he said it. You know what I mean? So I loved it. I thought that song was really good. It's smooth. It's sweet. It just it's it's nice. It's weird. It's it's a nice feeling song for it being a sad song, you know? So, I don't know. I mean, the dude's a genius, you know? He's an absolute genius at music. So, I'm just excited about it. But uh Yeah, yeah. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, so uh I guess that'll about do it for us here today. Just kidding, guys. Just kidding. So, I uh if you're a regular follower here on the channel, you probably know that my whole schedule got completely messed up this past weekend. So I ended up uh, having to wait to post. So I figured, you know what? I wasn't even done editing yet. So why not just add a little bit extra into this video? So actually, there was a live performance done by Suga and IU together because he did an interview on IU's interview show, which is called Palette. I use Palette. So, uh,. We're not going to watch the interview because it's a long one, but I am going to watch. They did perform People Part 2, so we're going we're gonna to watch it because why not? Also, another thing, too, I didn't realize there's a there's a People Part part 1. I mean, it's just called People by, by uh, August D, but we should check that out, too, I think. Um, yeah, let's go. Let's watch it. <laughs> Ooh, they have the live band, too. Love that. Sarang 
삶은 좌과 복종 사이의 싸움이라는데 내가 보기에는 외로움들 가의 싸움이 내 눈물이 터져 나오면 그대 후로 도대 낙치는 사람 밖에도 힘이 충분한 수 있어 Awesome. Also, I like that set. Yeah, that set was cool. That's a really cool little set. The song was sick. Their performance was awesome. And uh yeah. You know, I will say this, and like this is definitely me misconstruing ages and whatnot. But how old is I you? I got hold on, I gotta look it up. Alright. <laughs> Yo Jesus. That's crazy. That's nuts. <laughs> Yo, see, this is how how misconstrued my my thoughts on on people that I hear about in this uh, industry are. Because like I hear so much about how people look up to IU and like how she's a pretty influential individual in the in the K-pop world. I thought she was like way older. You know, and like, it's funny because like, I've only really seen clips from like a while back, you know, and she looks like, you know, like a regular adult. And so like, this is, I think the first time I've seen her and like, this is obviously like very recent. It, what? It's gotta be filmed this week, right? Or actually, no, I guess they probably could have filmed it earlier. Either way, it's filmed within the past few months at least, you know? And like, I'm like looking at her, I'm like, wait, she looks really, actually pretty young. Like what? But, like, yeah, I forget that, like, I'm old. Because <laughs> I'm older than her. I'm older than her. She's, she's, uh, she's born a year after me. So she's, she's 29 right now. I, I just looked her up. Because I was like, I, I got to know. I got to know. But that's funny as hell. That's very, very funny. I, th I thought for sure she was one of, like, the... Because uh... I don't know why. I thought she was, like, second generation or whatever. Uh, second gen K-pop which they're they uh, most of them are are older than me but i don't know that's just me mi mixing things up that's me being a silly goose <laughs> just getting blindsided i guess i'll go back to the geriatric home now but uh <laughs> i'm teasing i'm teasing obviously obviously i know people always get upset when i say i'm old because they're like you have no idea i'm old and i'm like yeah listen we're all old relax but, <laughs> but yeah guys uh that's it. I thought it was awesome. That was a great performance. <laughs> Let's head back to the outro. Let's go. Today. So, um, yeah, let me know what you thought. Let me know. And uh, let me know how, how you felt about the song. Let me know what got, what got you in, in it, you know. But, uh, yeah, other than that, guys, uh, make sure you're sub to the channel because you want to keep on growing. And uh, we will be back with uh, some more videos on Wednesday, all right? All right, guys, so that is going to do it for us here. Remember, stay aggressively positive. Have a fantastic week, and we will catch you on the next one. All right, love you. Goodbye.